Hello Blazers and welcome to our very first broadcast. I'm Zach Bernie from the Vanguard TV. Julia Lyon asked our freshmen about their clubs, activities, and career goals. Hi Trailblazers, this is Julie Lyon with the Vanguard TV. We asked the new freshmen about their career interests and what electives they're taking. Let's see what they said. I am. I am a. I am. I am a freshman. A freshman. A freshman. Freshman. <laughs> Speech, swim team, and photography. Okay, so um, I'm going to be doing orchestra, uh, computer science, maybe drill team. Photojournalism, um, orchestra, and basically anything that relates to health science. Uh, probably just bands and then the computer science stuff. I'm looking forward to drill team if I make it. <laughs> I want to be like somewhere in the medical field, so I, I kind of want to be a dermatologist because I find it really cool. Like something in the computer science field like in the programming stuff. Neurologist. An anesthesiologist. I'm not sure, like medical field, something. Hey Trailblazers, this is Lauren Johnson with the Vanguard TV. Last Friday, Lebanon Trail held its first pep rally of the year. The purpose of pep rallies is there's kind of a different purpose for each one in different parts of the pep rally. So, of course, traditionally they're to get our athletes pumped up for whatever competition is coming up. But then here at Lebanon Trail, we really take the time to celebrate not just athletes, but all of the different student organizations and clubs and even academic success. So it's really just to celebrate and get everyone excited about being a trailblazer. The purpose of the prep rally, I think, is to promote the football game. The purpose of this first pep rally is to pump everybody up for the first varsity football game. So the first varsity team this year, I think for every sport, I think we're going to come in and, and make a lot of noise and really stir up some of these district competitions, um, which is rarity. Normally your first year of varsity, sometimes it's it's really tough to compete on that varsity level. But if you look at our records last year for with our JV teams and our freshman team the year before, I think we're really going to come in and, and worry some of these established varsity teams. My thoughts on the first varsity team is that I, I'm going to enjoy going to the star a lot instead of just for one game, like the homecoming or faux coming. I'm excited for our varsity teams to be able to compete in the varsity level and show the talent of our athletes. I usually plan out like what chants we want to start with. Of course, my opening is now set. It's like a it was an accidental tradition, I guess. I didn't know I'd start at every every pep rally, but it turned out well. Um, and then we plan out the games, what games, and who do we want to recognize at the pep rally. It's really fun to be a cheerleader because you can see the other side of things and pump everyone up. What I'm looking for the most is just school spirit because I really like um, dressing up and putting on glitter and everything. I think pep rallies are what you make of it and I think it's the one time in school that you can like get loud and get crazy so even if you have to kind of fake it at first and you're a little like insecure of oh I'm yelling is this person yelling I think if everyone's in the stands acting crazy and having a good time then that's really the point of the pep rally. This has been Lauren Johnson with the Vanguard TV. Hi this is Ashley White reporting for the Vanguard TV. The Forest Market is a great place to buy produce from regional ranchers and browse for crafts in an enjoyable outdoor location. For every individual seller, there is an original product. These are grain-free dog treats. I make them with uh, no corn or wheat. I use brown rice flour, coconut flour uh, for their digestion and coat. I also use uh, coconut oil for their digestion, for their coat, for their breath. I don't use eggs, I use applesauce, and I use organic, totally organic products. Um, no pesticides, everything's made fresh every day, every week for the day of the market. So it um, uh, doesn't get any fresher than that. Colby Snacks, dog treats. Anything made out of wallets, as you can see, there's Bible covers, there's uh, wallets, money clips, gun holsters, knife sheaths, key bobs. Uh, you know, you can go buy a store-bought wallet and it's probably going to be cheaper, but this is genuine leather, handmade, it'll last you forever. Uh, my name is Mike Simpson. I've lived in Frisco for 21 years. I'm the 
former mayor of Frisco from 2002 to 2008, and I'm also a member of the Frisco Rotary Club, and they're responsible for having this farmer's market here in old downtown Frisco. Uh, the Rotary Club manages the market and volunteers for the market, and we also try to raise money for scholarships for kids. That's where the proceeds go from the market um, for local Frisco high school students and for Camp Rila, which is a rotary function. So if you ever need a fresh produce, home decor, or just looking for a good time, come to the Farmer's Market. Thanks for watching. This has been Ashley White, reporting for the Vanguard TV. Hi, I'm Christine Emanuel, and welcome to our new segment, LT Trivia. Each broadcast, we will present a trivia question for your chance to win a prize. Last week, season two of Marvel's Iron Fist aired on Netflix. Actor Finn Jones, playing Danny Rand, AKA Iron Fist, has been in multiple TV shows. What other TV show has actor Finn Jones been in from 2011 to 2016? To enter, go to lthsvanguard.com and complete the Google form for the chance to win an Andy's two free concrete gift card. The winner will be randomly selected from the correct answered submissions. That concludes our very first broadcast, Blazers. If you have a story or segment idea, go to lthsvanguard.com. We're going to leave you with a highlight reel from Trailblazer Day. Have a great day, Blazers.